In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to perform all of these working flare moves that you can use behind the bar to make you look like an absolute legend. These are working flare or craft flare moves, which are used to make uh, my pink martini cocktail. There's a link up above where you can find out how to make that, but you can also use these moves whilst making any other cocktail. Let's go. I posted a video earlier this week where you can win one of these bar spoons. There's a link up above if you wanna go and check that one out where I'm making a pink martini and performing all of these working flare moves. So if you wanna check that one out first and then come back and we can learn to flare like a legend. So kicking off these working flare moves with the Boston glass and you can do this move with pretty much any glass you want and you're going to just start by grabbing it with your fingertips and your thumb like so and you're going to spin the glass inwards towards yourself. It's only a small throw as you can see and your other hand is there ready to catch palms facing up. Once you've caught it you're just going to twist your hand over and place that glass on the bar top. Super easy move. So this next move is not essentially a working flare move, but uh, the bartender that I learned it from used to use it behind the bar all the time. Uh, so it's a great move to use, but although it's considered exhibition flare. Now you're going to start by holding the bottle in a tennis grab, so the way you would hold a tennis racket, and you're going to throw it up for what you would normally do as a double spin. You're going to put your hand in the middle of that spin to push the bottle up and around for the secondary spin. So it's kind of an illusion that you're creating. But you can do multiple bumps, uh, uh, but it's a really nice move to use when there's a little bit left inside the bottle. Now this next move can be performed with an exhibition flare or a working flare bottle, and it's a nice little flurry to continue on from the previous move. Now with the bottle still on the back of our hand, we're gonna throw the jigger up for a flat throw over the top of the bottle, and we're gonna catch it in the same hand under the arm that the bottle is on. We're gonna drop that bottle down into a grab, twist it over for a, like a reverse pour into the jigger, and then from that position, you'll naturally just untwist your arms, like so, uh, and pour out to continue making your cocktail. Now this is a technique or a move that I used to use behind the bar when I was working all of the time, obviously performed with an empty bottle or an exhibition bottle perhaps. All you need to do is grab hold of the pour spout and wiggle that bottle whilst holding onto the rubber part of the pour spout. I use my middle finger and the inside knuckle of my middle finger to hold onto it and I wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And when it becomes loose, that bottle will drop down and I can land on the back of my hand or my arm or whatever feels comfortable. Okay, here's another working flare lazy pour. I've done a couple of lazy pours on previous videos and it's super easy, but there is a couple of tricks. So I've got a working flare bottle, but it's less than half full. You wanna make sure the bottles are less than half full. And when you throw the bottle up, you're gonna catch it at an angle. So as you can see, one hand is lower and the other hand is higher. The base hand is lower and the neck hand is higher. And as I grab or as I catch that bottle, I slowly manipulate and control it so it's not gonna spill. And then I tip it forward. And as you can see, my front hand controlling the pour is just being, just using my index finger and my thumb, and the back hand is just lifting up to create the pour. I use a jigger to make sure I'm gonna get the right amount, and to stop the pour, I'll just lower the base of the bottle and cut off. Great working flare move. Okay, using the Grail jigger for some more Working flare or craft flare style moves is a nice little flurry to use the jigger between your fingers. You're gonna start by grabbing between your index and your middle finger and you're gonna turn that jigger over just to make your pour. And once you've made your pour, you tip it in. And then it's just a case of swinging that jigger around, releasing it from your index and middle finger and grabbing it in between your middle finger and your thumb. So it's on this kind of hinge, which I've spoken about in previous videos. And then from there, you're gonna continue the movement of that jigger to then grab in between your pinky finger and your ring finger to get those last drops out of the jigger into your cocktail. Nice working flare move that can be performed with pretty much any jigger. Right, next up we're throwing a full bottle. This is your extreme working flare move and it's a dismount move from the previous one. And as you can see, I'm starting by throwing the jigger up and as the jigger reaches the precipice of the flight, so the top of the, the throw basically, I can then focus on that working flare bottle uh, and start to manipulate or start to throw the bottle because I need to switch. 
because the jigger is going to be caught in my right hand where the bottle is and the bottle is going to be caught behind my back. So as you see, the jigger is coming down. I'm now throwing the bottle, catching the jigger in my right hand, and then that full bottle, that working flare bottle, is going to fly behind my back and land in my hand. Now I, I recommend that you practice this using a training bottle to begin with. There's a link down below if you want to get your hands on one, because it is a tough move to manipulate both objects in the correct way. Craft flare or finger roll movements such as this are becoming very popular. And this is a great craft flare or working flare move that you can do with the spoon. What you want to try and create with these moves is how visual they look. So I'm making sure that the spin is horizontal to the bar so the guests can see everything which is going on. And as I'm moving my hand in one direction, I'm trying to spin the spoon in a different direction. So as I lift the spoon up, it starts to spin or twist around my fingers. And the best way that you can practice this is by holding onto the spoon with your other hand and then manipulating it through your fingers. And the more you do that, the more dexterity you'll get with your fingers to be able to perform these moves really well. Great moves to use with spoons, great working flare moves, they're great craft flare moves. And once you master these, you can really use them without slowing down any service whilst you're working behind your bar. Okay, the pièce de résistance, trying out my French again. Uh, this is a tough move to get, but there is a couple of tricks you need to know. Starting off with how you start the grab in between my middle index finger and my thumb, I'm gonna push with my middle finger as if I'm gonna spin that spoon around my thumb. But as you can see, I'm now lowering my thumb to move it out of the way so that the spoon can, can continue spinning. And it's gonna spin on that, that cushiony part below your thumb. And I wanna get that up as high as possible because now I, now the spoon is spinning on there, I need to make sure that the spoon stays horizontal, that I'm controlling the spin. So if it starts to fall off, I move my hand in the direction of where it's falling to try and make sure that it stays on that palm of my hand, basically. This is a really tough working flare move, but with a little bit of practice, you'll be able to nail it. And I do recommend you try and do it on its own first before involving the julep strainer. Now, as you can see, the, the position that my hand gets in is very awkward, uh, but that's where you wanna be. There's nothing obstructing the spin of the spoon, and it gives me full control over moving my hand to make sure that the spoon doesn't fall off, basically. Flair has become a whole new beast. We're seeing a lot more bartenders pick up these craft flair moves because of the entertainment factor that it brings to the guests. And that's what people want when they go to a bar. When a guest sees you performing a trick, the next time they're gonna buy a drink, they're gonna come to you to order a drink. I reached the level of world championships, but I realized that the journey to get there was the best part, and it'll be the best thing you ever do. My name's Tom Dyer, and this is my online course. Okay, before I go, I want to just say a massive thank you to all of these legends that are, boom, there. Uh, they are supporting me over on Patreon, uh, where I post more content. I have my Three Minute Thursdays going over there. I'm going to be doing some live streams, and I'm also doing some more giveaways. So if you want to be a part of that community, there is a link down below, and there's two different tiers that you can choose from. But yes, once again, a massive thank you to all, the, all of these legends. Uh, your support really helps motivate me to make more videos. But that is it, we are coming to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you can be notified when I upload more super awesome content like this. And remember that everybody can learn to flare like a legend.